Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. And today we're going to be taking a look into block regen. What it allows you to do is set up regions where players can break and mine resources without having to remove all the resources within your SMP type server. This could be great for quite a large variation of servers, factions, PVP, maybe I, I don't take me up on that one, but SMPs. And of course there, there was one more I could swear <laughs> had it at the tip of my tongue. Skyblock. Yeah, let's let's go with Skyblock before I spend the rest of my day here thinking about it. Regardless, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up these simple regions. It doesn't take more than a minute to set the, one of these up and it's fully configurable, well, within the configs. So let's get cracking on with this video, shall we? Now, before we do continue, let me just ask a simple question. Does, does this look right? This, this pickaxe doesn't look right on my hand. It, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah, I, there's definitely something wrong here. That looks tiny. Oh well, oh well. All right, so let me show you off what basically happens here. If I go in survival and I go into one of these regions and actually try to break this diamond block, what will happen is I'll actually get the ore, but sadly I don't have the correct enchantment. So it won't allow me to actually mine this area. This is all 100% configurable. So all I need to do is enchant it with mending one and loot bonus blocks two, which I have no idea. And there we go. Some nice particle effects actually. Diamond XR, I diamond XR executed this command. Server, the console command function is working. So it also allows you to run commands every time when someone breaks a block within the region. So it'll probably run that every every single time I break one of these blocks, which is a bit of annoying, but of course this is showing what would happen. I can also try to break this, but nothing will occur. And I actually did get the bonus feature for breaking it, a little diamond mined by diamond. Oh, it feels like blood in my hands. However, we can continue over to this one. So if I break this coal, it will actually switch to iron or even gold or even from iron to gold. So there you go, there's the iron and then if I mine it, it'll go back to stone. And here's the gold. It's a really unique system and you can change it to however you want it to be. And overall, I just like how it is and set up. Personally, what I would do is I would have these regions set up around a certain arena. And then every single time someone tries to mine something, I would just spawn one of these bad guys in there. Cause why not? If you guys haven't seen this guy, you can check it out on my video. So. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, because you can learn more about this guy. However, I don't need you right now. Regardless, that's just my preference. Have a monster that's always around these infinite generating resources where players can mine, but they have to be careful. It's a really cool system. So we can go ahead and finish destroying these and they will go back to being cold. Just give it a little bit of time and it should just pop back up. It's actually pretty nice. Now let's go over here and as you can see, this one actually goes to cobblestone and it can even occasionally go into actually just being bedrock as well, but it's all random, which I really do like. So from stone to cobblestone and bedrock, all of them are completely different and you can set up however you want to. This also works with the vi different variants such as a uh, deep slate, I believe which, what it's called. I and here we have the same process. It should now appear to coal and then it could even go to iron afterward. And then from iron, it can go back to gold. There we go. Really, it works perfectly as you expect it to be. And now, if you want to set one of these regions up, it's really simple on how to do it. But hey, before we do continue this video, if you guys want to check out Revive Known in the description down below, you guys can get 15% off your very first server today. You can add this plugin, which is free, and start your own community, add it to your prisons, add it to your SMP, add it to your server, anything you'd like. But just make sure to use the promo code DIAMOND to get your discount. I use them, I support them, and I will leave a link in the description down below for Revive Node hosting. Start your very own server today. All right, to start your very own region, it's really simple. I'm gonna go in creative for this and I'm actually gonna get a world edit axe as you are going to need it in order to set up these region. Now to better showcase exactly what's gonna be happening, I'm gonna select a small region around here and I'm just using the red concrete mainly just to show off where you're gonna be selecting. So again, as you always use world edit, always select from one end and diagonally across to select a perfect cuboid. After which I can just remove this and this whole area within here is gonna be protected and gonna regenerate the ores. And in order to do that, all you need to do is block regen and then set, and then you provided a name. I'm gonna call this one Ted. In order to do so, all you need to do is block regen, region set Ted. And just like that, it's saved. It's super simple. You can add whatever ores you want. So if I wanna come over here and just grab some diamonds, I can just place them in. If you have operator permissions, you can bypass it and actually break it without it becoming anything, unless you are in survival, of course. So now if I actually go in survival and I come in and try to mine this, it works flawlessly as it's supposed to. 
it's a super simple plugin to use. If you don't like the region, of course, you can always just do region, delete, and then TED. And of course, that just makes it so it doesn't regenerate anymore. So you just get the regular or back. Last but not least, you can do region list, and that's going to show you all the available lists. I have one through five, which is one, two, three, four. And I probably created one by accident, but we're not, we're not going to talk about that today, are we? But hey, there you have it. That's a simple plugin right there, and it could work wonders for you. So if you guys want to check it out, it's going to be in the description down below. I have a lot of blood in my hands right now. So I got to bury these. But yeah, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like in the description. I keep on doing that too much. I keep on saying leave a like in the description. You know what? Write the word like in the description. That, that's all I need. But yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm Diamond, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers.